the wife and I heading out west and going to be going to Las Vegas. And I want to hear from you, what's not to miss in Las Vegas? Now, I know, uh, you know, what, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but you know, we're not really going to Vegas because of Vegas. Uh, so I want to hear from you, 217-629-7970. What should we not miss while we're in Las Vegas? Now, um, of course, I'm off tomorrow and off all next week, and uh, we're flying into Las Vegas this afternoon. Uh, and then uh, we're instantly leaving Vegas. We're not we're not going to Vegas for an entire week. That's not what we're doing. Uh, we're going to be going up and hitting up uh, Zion National Park for a couple of days. All kinds of different hiking adventures to be had there. We're actually renting some electric bikes, some electric bicycles, uh, to be able to just cruise around all over Zion National Park. Totally looking forward to it. Uh, can't wait to, to share uh, the sights and the sounds. Uh, so uh, that, we're doing that for a couple of days, and then we're continuing on the road all the way up to uh, Bryce Canyon, and uh, we're going to take that in for a couple of days. Uh, and then, uh, gosh, Megan's got the entire itinerary lined up. Uh, eventually, though, after several days traveling north of Las Vegas into Utah and whatnot, then we're going to head back around and go to Las Vegas for a night or two in Vegas. So that's all the time we're going to have in Vegas, a night or two. We're going to go get some dinner, maybe you know, do a little bit of gambling. However, uh, Megan's not a big gambler. I'll throw money into machines. But if I give Megan money to gamble, uh, typically she just pockets it. And by the end of the night, she says, hey, look, I'm up, when she doesn't gamble at all. Uh, so, uh, But we're going to end up in Vegas for a night or two. And uh, we're going to take in some dinner and go see Nine Inch Nails perform at a uh, small theater in Vegas. Really looking forward to that. Got a couple of friends we're going to meet up with there as well. But in the time we are in Vegas, what do we absolutely have to take in? I want to hear from you at 217-629-7970. Good morning. You're on WMAY. Good morning, and thanks for taking my call. Listen, uh, you got to go the zip line over Old Vegas. All right. You got you got to, uh, if, you, if you can, for her, go to the uh, shopping mall at Caesars Palace. I don't know if we want to go shopping. Uh, uh, yeah, what, got, what's what's got, special about that in Caesars Palace? Oh, Is it just a different experience? It's just a whole different thing. It's so garish with all the statues and things <laughs> like that. It's just way over the top. It's all just right. total kit, total kitsch. Gotcha. Uh, if, if you're gonna, if you're looking for some place to eat, there's always. Giada's, Giada de, de La Rentis's place. Okay. And now I hear, I hear Martha Stewart's got a place. Uh, so I don't know. There might be a little rivalry going on. But other than that, uh, I've been to several of the casinos, several of the hotels. And I personally like the Mirage. Okay. But uh, the one uh, with the Eiffel Tower, I can't, the name escapes me right now. The whole town is just an exercise in over the top. You really yeah. can't go wrong anywhere. Well, but does it does it have an authentic feel, or does it feel more like you know Pigeon Forge? Oh, well, I don't know what you mean by that, but I was in a constant state of euphoria being entertained. <laughs> okay, right on. Well, uh, definitely looking forward to that. I did have somebody. I appreciate the call. I did have somebody email me earlier. Uh, they said that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, they said Red Rocks Canyon's cool. I think we're actually going to go check that out uh, at some point at the tail end of our trip. Uh, the rest of Vegas has turned into the Mall of America, this emailer says. Watch out for costume characters, showgirls, patrolling the strip. They want to take a picture with you, and then after you give them five bucks, that's the that's the deal. Uh, they'll follow you around and insist that you give them more. Anyway, they said, enjoy your trip. Uh, 217-629-7970. What is not to miss in Las Vegas? Good morning. What? <clears throat> Next to Vegas, you got to go to Hoover Dam. Okay, yeah. I think we're going to pass it's... by that on our way back after our trip to the national parks, and we'll take that in. But you can, they actually have a tour, and it will take you all the way down to where the turbines are at. Oh, wow. I mean, it was, it was quite an education, and then, the sad part is when you're in the tour, they'll show you how many feet, and we're now at about 95 uh, feet down yeah. in terms of water level. It's un, but it's you got to see it. It's uh, 
pictures don't do it justice. Yeah, I, and I, gosh, I, I want to say I, I've seen it in person once when I was real young, but uh, I think, yeah, you're right. What That will be a sight to see, absolutely. So Hoover Dam's on our list, and I think we're also going to go try to check out uh, the, the southern part of the Grand Canyon at some point uh, on our trip as well. Uh, but in Vegas proper, in the city of Las Vegas, uh, what do we need to do? Uh, what's the most go-to thing uh, in your trips to Vegas that, that we have to absolutely take in? Uh, good morning. You're on WMAY. Morning, Bishop. Hey. Uh, there, so there's a guy at, uh, I forget where what the name of it is, where they uh, they um, sail through the air on the cable, whatever the heck that's called. Oh, zip lining. So, yeah, somebody zip uh, suggested lining. that. Yeah. So underneath of that, area there's circles on the ground and these people rent these circles and they do uh shows like magic or (laughs) but there's one guy for five bucks he lets you kick him in the sack oh stop (laughs) what come on that's just silly serious is a heart attack dude Uh, i'm serious well if i see that guy i will be sure to say that he is world renowned that somebody in springfield Illinois, the land of Lincoln, Lincoln's Lincoln's uh, hometown uh, that uh, you told us all about him. Yeah, I would go to uh, the West Rim, though, if is, I were you. Is that the, the Grand Canyon? Yes. Yeah, and I think that is on our plan because uh, there's they a highway to... that goes up around and, and takes in Zion, takes in Bryce, and I think the uh, the Grand Canyon, uh, the, the, the West Rim, would... as you say, is, is on that yeah. uh, same highway. I would highly recommend. It's a little steep. There's only two of you. I think it's 100 bucks a person. It's a, it's a tour. You pay mm. it. You get on a bus. They take you to three different stops, mm. and you get to go out on the glass walk. Oh, wow. Oh. Oof. Oh man! You yeah, talk I'll have about to I'll have see if we can fit that in. We we've got a couple of other tours we've got planned, uh, including one that goes through this this really wild, wind swept limestone canyon. It looks in the the way the light comes out from the top. It's supposed to be somewhat uh, otherworldly. So looking forward to that. Uh, all right. So what else should we do while we're in Las Vegas? Uh, any any particular food uh, shopping? We've heard. Go check out Caesar's Palace. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I got to tell you, I mean, <laughs> we're not going to Vegas for Vegas. We're going to Vegas because Nine Inch Nails is going to perform. We're going to be there with some friends celebrating an anniversary. Uh, and uh, we're just going to go take in some, some <laughs> national parks while we're there. Uh, so I appreciate all of the suggestions.